Hello and welcome back to my channel, Single Mom Review. If you would stop for one second, look down below and click that subscribe button. I would love for you to join my channel. I'm jumping on to share with you a couple of PR items that I received from Beauty in the City. And this is a company that I have been an ambassador for for probably a year to a year and a half. Um, they reached out to me and I got on board with them and started doing some PR items for them. They'll um, send me credits periodically that I can get to order, try new products. And they recently um, sent me an email and said, hey, we have a couple of new products. Would you do a review on them for us? And I, of course, said, of course. Um, so that's kind of how their ambassador program works is um, you're just kind of there in their system. And so when they get new products that are start to coming out, they reach out and they'll say, hey, we've got some new products. We're going to send those to you for you to try. And so that is what they did. So super excited to be a part of Beauty in the City's um, ambassador program. I will, down in my description box, leave the link to their website. They have all kinds of things. One of my favorite things um, from their website is their um, vitamin C serum. I wiped my bottle out of it that I had and need to order, place another order and order another one. Um, I also really like their mascara. There's nothing that I've received from them that I did a review on that I didn't like, but that vitamin C serum is most definitely my favorite. I love vitamin C to begin with, but this was amazing serum. I really liked it. But I will leave their link down in my description box. Go down and click on that website link and go check out all the products that they have. Um, I know that there's something there. Like I said, their mascara is also really good. And they're high quality products, but are very cost friendly. So that's always a huge plus um, for me. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into this package and see what they sent me this time. They did send me a little note here. And it says, it is from beautyinthecity.com. And it's just a little note from me to you. Hi Sherry, we are excited for you to review our new lip products. Let us know what you think. And XOXO, the Beauty in the City team. All right. Um, they sent it all in a little tissue paper here. There should be two items in here. Oh, yep. All right, the first one here is, ooh. This is their new lip liner line that they just came started out started out with. This is the Crayon Dash Coal K O H L, and this is in the color Moose. Let me take this plastic off so I can show it to you. Got that off. Here it is. It says Crayon Dash Coal, and this is in the color Moose. There's the Beauty in the City logo there. Okay, I did um, get on their website just to give you a little bit more information about this. This was inspired by the 90s selection. B and T C lip liners are a collection of warm, creamy browns. Super smooth, deep, rich textures, easily defined lips. B and T C lip liners are easy to sharpen and never drag or pull on the lips. Choose between the shades. They have Cocoa Bronze, they have Mousse, they have Russet, and they have Spice. So, and I did get Mousse, as I said. That's the color it is. Very pretty color. Very neutral color. And let's see here. Okay, I already have lipstick on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a video here right after this that shows me actually putting this on when I don't have anything on. And that way you can see um, what this looks like. Now do not judge my lip liner application because I don't wear a lot of lip liner. I've got these voluptuous lips that I don't hardly ever wear lip liner. My mother wears lip liner all the time. Um, so anyways, but I am going to apply this, see how easily it applies. You all know if I do a good job, it's a good lip liner. So keep that in mind. So here it goes. Okay, I have the Beauty in the City lip pencil here. And this is uh, the Crayon Coal in the color Mousse. And I'm going to apply that now.
Okay guys, I am not used to applying lip pencil. Cause I hardly ever use it. This went on so nicely. I didn't have a big issue with that. Um, I actually also have such pretty voluptuous lips um, on their own. I didn't have to. Some people will put it outside of their lip line to make their lips feel to look fuller. I don't have to do that. My lips are already pretty full. So um, as you can see, I actually just followed the lip line, which was real simple, but this glided on beautiful. I'm back. I'm back to share with you the second item that came. And it is a lip oil, Beauty in the City, and it is a button. And it matches very, very nicely with the lip liner they sent. So, okay, I'm gonna read you just a little bit about um, this lip oil, lip oil. The BNTC Vegan Lip Oils have all the shine of a lip gloss. They provide your lip with moisturizing nutrients. They are light in texture, not sticky and the colors are more like lip tints. Ooh. They have the colors clear, plum, and mocha, and BNTC lip oils are powered by Dejovi oil to provide deep hydration to your lips. So I definitely am excited to have this. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit right here. Ooh, it is oily. I like that lip oil. It's very neutral. Go with anything. All right. So, like I said, I already have lipstick on, but I'm gonna insert a video after, right after this, um, that shows me with a clean face that you will see where I've already put the lip liner on, and then I'll be applying the lip oil. So, be right back. All right, next I am going to apply the Beauty in the City lip oil in the color Unbutton. This actually I think is gonna go beautifully with this mousse lip liner. Mm, that's beautiful. I'm trying to make actually make sure to get on the line to blend it well. And it's definitely, it's not going on like a a real loose lip gloss. It's more of an oil based, so it's pretty much staying. Um, I mean, when I go like this, it's smooth and it goes all over. But when I'm applying it, it's really doing well in staying in the spot where I'm applying. I'm just trying to really get on that line to make it look very natural. Mmm, feels wonderful. So, finished product. Of course, you can always take a little bit of um, Kleenex, um, towel, makeup wipe, um, to address any issues. Like I said, it's my first time to ever apply a lip liner. Um, but honestly, it looks pretty good. I mean, so I think it's, both of these products were very easy to use. And I actually like the finished product. I think it looks very natural. Um, I wasn't sure. I thought maybe after I used this once, I would sanitize it, and then maybe um, somebody that maybe would use it more often might get better use out of it, but I don't know. I kind of like it, and I did pretty well with it, so haven't decided on that yet. So, 
I'm gonna go back to the other video. I'm back. So as you can see, I knew I would love the lip oil. I am all about any kind of lip glosses, um, lip oils on my lips. I knew I would love that. Um, the lip liner was actually very easy to apply and I loved it. Who knows, I may start to use lip liner. I don't know. But I really did like the way um, it gave that nude lip oil a little pop. Um, I did really like that. And this is $19.95 on their website. And this is $15.95 on their website. Huge shout out to Beauty in the City for reaching out to me and asking me if I would like to do a review on these items. I love being an ambassador for this company. Um, they are so nice to work with. I mean, they always get right back with me if I have any questions on anything. Um, I can't praise them enough as a, as a business, as a company, and that's huge. If I'm gonna be an ambassador for somebody, I not only want to um, love their products, but I wanna love their company too. I think that's very important on how they treat customers and how they treat their ambassadors. Um, so um, there's been, I have no negativity to say about Beauty of the City. And I will be talking to y'all again real soon. Bye.